Hey guys, welcome to our new tutorial. Today we will be recreating Tiny's Toss ability from the game Dota 2. What this ability does is basically grabs a random unit near the player and tosses it to a specific location. Without any further ado, let's jump right in. Here we are in Unity and you might have noticed I have already set it all up. Let's go over what we have here. First we have a canvas with a text UI that has an X so that I can properly aim the first person controller. Then we have the plane. This is the ground plane and it's on the ground layer I added so that our ray casts only hit this and nothing else. For the player, this I imported a very simple first person controller, nothing too fancy here. Inside here we have all the little yellow balls you see on the scene window. These are the ones you would be able to toss around. It is very important you assign them a specific tag for this to work. I added a tossable tag and assigned it to them. Now inside our materials folder, I have the ground plane material with a checker texture, the player and tossable object materials. Inside my misc folder, I have the URP rendering assets. This is irrelevant to this tutorial. The scene we have currently open and lastly, my first person controller script. Cool. Now that we are up to speed, let's hit play and check out my first person controller. I can look around and move, quite simple stuff. I'm sure you have some sort of a controller like this in your project. Let's start by creating a new C-sharp script and call it Toss script. Add it to the player and open it using your coding software of choice. We will begin by getting rid of the start function and adding our variables. The first two are going to be type strings. These are our two tags we will be using. Now a bunch of floats, grab radius, damage radius, damage, air speed, air height, max distance, and yfix. They are all pretty self-explanatory by the exception of yfix. I will explain this in a moment. A new layer mask for our raycast. This should be the ground layer, a transform that will be the unit we are tossing, then a list of all the possible targets that we can toss, two vector trees to save the land and launch positions, and lastly a float to control how fast the tossed unit moves. Alright, inside update we first check if we have pressed left mouse click and if we have, we create a new function called toss and add it in here. Now if we do not have a toss unit assigned then we return and don't run the rest of this code. But if we do, we increase the incrementer using our airspeed variable. Now we calculate the position of our toss unit by lerping both launch and land positions. After that, we need to make it arc up in the air, so we use our air height variable to control the calculations inside mathfsyn that bounces between two values. We assign the position to our toss unit now we have to calculate how much we have traveled and check if we are almost at the land position. If we are, then we create a new function called land and add it in here. Inside our toss function, we will begin by setting the toss unit to null as well as increment our float to zero. We do a raycast from the mouse position to the ground plane and if we hit something, we assign our land position plus our Y fix so that it does not clip through the ground. If our hit information has a transform, which means that yes, we have hit a thing, we get all the colliders inside the sphere using our grab radius, then we run a for each loop to check if these colliders have the grab tag. If they do, then we add them to our possible toss unit list. Down here, we check if our possible toss unit list is bigger than zero, and if it is, we create a random variable and assign our toss unit using this variable. We also assign the launch position to be the toss unit's current position. And lastly, over here, we clear our list. Inside the land function, we first have to get all the colliders. So just copy and paste these lines of code and change the names from toss objects in range to enemies in range. Inside this loop, we check if each collider has a tag of our enemy tag string variable and if this is true, then here you will damage your enemies. I don't currently have an enemy script, but you will do something like this. 
And lastly, we assign our toss unit to be null. Back in Unity, we will set up these public variables real quick. For graph tag, we will use tossable, which is the tag these objects have. For enemy tag, I'll do enemy. Grab radius, we will... Um, so if you create a sphere, you can easily visualize how far this radius will be just by changing the scale. I will just do 10 for now so that I can grab all of them. Damage radius 5 and damage to 1, I guess. Air speed 1 and air height to 2. Max distance is how far the ray cast goes. Uh, and for Y fix is how far up or down from the ground plane should the land position be. So if I check this object, I can see that it's 0 0.25 above the ground. If you leave this Y fix value at 0, then it will just clip through the plane. And last, for layer mask, we select whatever our ground layer mask is. In my case, it is called ground. Cool, it is all working as intended. Go play with some of the values and find what works best for you. I recommend using a low value for grab radius so that you actually have to get really close to be able to toss stuff around. But then again, I am not developing your game so you can just do whatever the hell you want. I hope this was useful for you guys. All project files are available in my Patreon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.